Okay. At this point in the tuning, you have just finished the calibration and you end up on this screen and you got a green screen saying that you passed it successfully. You are running on petrol. We are sitting in idle in the garage at 700 RPMs and 5% engine load. You can see the timing injections. You've already done your settings. If you don't know what these mean, then you haven't watched our other videos or you need to read the software manual again. We are going to map. All right, and this is uh, this is the tuning uh, aspect of a conversion install. At this point, uh, this vehicle has already been tuned previously, so I'm, I'm leaving the, uh, the map grid on here uh, for reference. We have deleted, I erased the uh, gas map that was on here so that I left behind the red cells only. These red cells show how the vehicle runs on petrol or gasoline. We cannot run on natural gas unless we know how the vehicle runs on gasoline. It is very, very important to understand that. You don't just jump in the vehicle after calibration and start running on CNG and moving these sliders around because the software will be clueless. We have to gather a map. You can see engine loads on the left hand side from 4% to 100%, RPMs, 600 RPMs, all the way to 6300 RPMs. And when you hit each of these points on the map, uh, the red cell will learn. Uh, the software will learn and the red cell will fill in. Uh, you can see where we're at right now. I'm going to give it a little bit of gas and idle. You can see it jump around. And that's all it's going to do. 90% uh, of your driving is going to start at the bottom left and move up to the top right. And um, the better you get driving and tuning, the quicker this whole process will be. Uh, using the manual shifting and hitting these gears manually will also help you gather a complete map. The more complete this map, the better the vehicle will run on CNG. You don't want any missing holes in here. It's okay for the fringe to be a little bit choppy because we never drive over there anyway, but if you have a missing tooth somewhere here in the middle, it's going to affect performance. So you want to hit all of these squares, especially where you're going to be driving 99% of the time, which is right in here. Okay. Um, there are different ways to view this information. Bars chart is the time uses timing injection. This is what most software or all other software you use uh, when tuning. Uh, we offer that. You can do it. It works. It's great. Um, you can see how this vehicle was runs perfect. Uh, these big red bars uh, are just showing where we didn't really tune it completely. Uh, not a big deal because I I switch over to gasoline at high loads. So that's why I left it like this. Um, and I don't feel like ragging out an engine while I'm doing a road test. So, uh, But you can see where I drive 99.9% .9 of the time, it runs perfectly. Uh, you can look at everything differently, but I like to go over here to the OBD tab because this is what uses fuel trims and that's what's most important. We are the only software, SkyCNG offers the only software that in integrates and incorporates the real-time fuel trends into the operation uh, or into the tuning of the vehicle on natural gas. Whatever the fuel trims are, if it runs a you know 3% rich, if it runs 3% lean, whatever, on gasoline, well we're going to learn about that, uh, the engine's going to learn it here, and we're going to adapt on natural gas according to those fuel trends, which gives you the best performance and the best efficiency on the market. Um, we'll adjust these sliders later. Don't try to mess with these things right now. All we're doing now is you're sitting down, the computer is in the passenger side seat or the passenger is holding the computer, and you're just watching this screen fill up as you drive around town, go on the freeway, uh, anywhere or you would drive on gasoline uh, normally, um, or just drive around town and collect it. Okay, I am I'm about to back out of the garage and you can see as the engine load and the 
RPMs change. Uh, you'll be able to follow that red dot moving around. If it was a blank grid, um, it would populate with a red cell. Uh, just a word to the wise, never ever erase at the bottom left where it says petrol map. Um, don't ever click that and erase the petrol map. Uh, because, you know, the petrol map, uh, unless you were to like rebuild the engine or tune it up, something like that, that's the only time you would ever really need to change the petrol map. Uh, so let's just, you know, keep it here. And even when the computer is not running, uh, if the laptop was closed at this point, the, um, and you're just driving around on gasoline, the the computer under the hood, the ECU, is learning. I mean, we're always constantly updating this gasoline map, so you don't have to worry about that. You know, you could close the computer and just drive around for a couple of days and come back and this map would be done. But we leave the computer open so that we can watch it and manually uh, gather the map and make sure we hit all the points as quick as possible. I am going to activate the natural gas system you can see that I'm still I'm just waiting on the side of the road right now and uh, it's waiting to switch over it's got to hit 1200 RPMs my temperatures are already way high enough so uh, we're just waiting on the RPMs and um, we'll just go and one thing to look out for when you start driving don't get in a wreck be very very careful and as you drive, I'll just kind of inch up a little bit, or I'll get it to switch over first. But as you're driving um, on natural gas, oh, the first thing I need to do, sorry, I don't want to stall out. So I know from previous experience that my slider needs to be at least, you know, probably around 1.25, 1.30. This, this vehicle, I've tuned it before, and I think it ends up settling around one point. 1.35, 1.37, somewhere around there. But uh, the mixture composition slider, slider, I'm going to go ahead and move it up so I don't just conk out even when I'm just, you know, inching down the road. You can see the green cells that are filling in at the bottom left as I'm just kind of idling around the parking lot right now. That means uh, the engine has driven on natural gas in an area or a cell where we have already driven on gasoline or petrol so it turns green uh, meaning it's good we know how to operate we know how to run right there okay um, if you were to go into a spot like in the extreme areas on the top left or top right uh, that have not been mapped red then it will turn blue meaning hey we drove here on CNG but you know that we didn't know really what to do, so we just did our best guess. That's essentially what happens. And I'm waiting to get into traffic here. You can always uh, monitor the fuel trims. You can see we're running pretty pretty decent right now. It'll balance out as things kind of move on. Um, just another side note, I'm doing this with a wireless Bluetooth connection. Uh, we've got the fastest Bluetooth connection on the market. That way there's no real, no big lags or anything like that. It doesn't skip around. And uh, you don't have to worry about damaging a tuning cable by you know, running it through the door or running it through uh, a window. And there we go. The gray numbers on the grid, um, this is all outlined in the training, but the blue number, uh, gray numbers, they'll be gray if they're perfect, they'll be blue if they're lean, they'll be red if, they're, if it means it's running rich. So if those numbers, you can see that negative 3.1 on the top left, but it's already, it's already auto-corrected. Auto you just you know, don't have too quick of a trigger finger on this because the computer has to do its thing. Uh, it's going to... Um, adapt as we're driving. You may even see, you may even see this mixture composition slider move around. Oh, you can see it's already moved around automatically to 1.29. So it's actually dropped. It looked it, it looked at the data and it said we think we're running a little bit rich, so let's run it a little bit leaner. So it dropped down, and you know it can fluctuate like that. It just depends on how we're doing and how we're driving. 
but um, you'll get really good at this where you can you know get a tuning done complete mapping on gasoline and CNG uh, in about 30 to 45 minutes just depending on where you live and how the traffic is flowing uh, if you have any questions you can always contact us at sky CNG um, you know we're happy to uh, look at your tuning before you turn a vehicle back in to your customer uh, if you have any questions let us know give us a call or email us at uh, sales at sky CNG or go to www.skycng.com and uh, keep posted on our website follow us on Twitter so that we can update you of new videos thanks a lot